What's up? Hey, hey, how's it going? Good. Okay. I was wondering, I was like, are they going to be together? Are they going to be separate? <laughs> no, yeah. We're, we're brothers, quarantine <laughs> brothers. Together. How's everything going? Everything's going great. How about you? Good. We're excited to talk to you today, both of you. We want to talk to you about, obviously, this is the year. We're very excited about the film and everything. Thank you very much. We're excited to talk to you about it. How was it working together as brothers? This is your first project working together, right? Yeah, yeah. It, it was great. You know, when you're doing an independent film, uh, the enemy is always time. You're trying to get as much as you can. You don't have a ton of time. You don't have a massive budget. So to have an actor that you trust can deliver uh, quickly means the world to a project because it helps you have time for everything you need to do. So Lorenzo delivered on all those levels. He just happened to come off of Fear the Walking Dead at the time. So everything kind of matched up perfectly. It, it was uh, probably a dream come true being directed by David and us being able to produce this together with our company, uh, Novo Media Group. So we, we, uh, it was a dream come true and we can't wait for more projects after this to, to do together. Do you plan on doing working together more in the future? Actually, yeah, we, we have some very cool things coming up. That's really exciting. And what was the vibe like for you guys, like behind the scenes with everyone in between you two? Like, are you like always picking on each other or? Uh, it was a great vibe on set. You know, we had a lot of people that I've worked with in the past on set. So it was nice to have familiar faces and bring that kind of energy and magic to the set. Um, it, everyone was in it for the right reasons. You know, this is a movie that's a feel good movie. It's supposed to be something that can cheer people up, especially in a time that we're in right now. Um, so everyone had that vibe on set. You know, I think the beautiful part about entertainment is it can really take you away from whatever you're dealing with. And this is very much a movie that does that. Um, so so it, it, it had a good vibe on set, wouldn't you say? Absolutely. And all, uh, majority of the cast that were in the movie grew up with similar backgrounds as us growing up on set. So it was like we all knew each other um, the day we were on set with each other. Mm -hmm, definitely. And what aspects of the movie do you relate to most in your guys' personal lives? I really feel like our generation especially deals with this theme of expectation versus reality. I right. think we grow, we're, we're just inundated with so much social media, movies, TV, just constant imagery. And so we might expect life to go exactly like that, especially love. You might think that, oh, okay, my love life is going to go exactly how I see so-and-so doing it on social right. media or this movie doing it there in the sweeping moment, this and that has to happen at the right moment, at the right place, in the right time with the right girl. And in reality, that's not always the case. So I really wanted to get that and play with that theme in this film. And that's very much what we did with, with Lorenzo's character. Um, and it's very much what Selena Gomez really related to in the film as well, especially being portrayed through the eyes of some of our female leads in the film. She thought that the, the female characters were dealt with in a very empowering um, way in a way that a lot of older films didn't give proper lay layering to women and show good authentic female friendship and encouragement in, in friendship. Um, so she really gravitated towards those elements. So that was really a, a lot of personal things for me that I wanted to get across on screen. Mm -hmm. That and was for, great. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, I can't add anything to that. <laughs> how, how was it acting out like so much romance on screen? Did you like that? Me? Yeah. Oh yeah, I mean it's always fun to to get to get to play new slices of life in every role that you take as an actor. So I mean, um, with with this character, it was um, it was a lot of fun. You know, you I to to understand the message David was trying to give to the audience. Mm -hmm. I think that motivated me to give a better performance, especially with the romance between uh, whichever girl, Josh. <laughs> goes with which you'll have to find out about. I know I was watching the trailer and I was like I was like I need to know which one and I the know. cool part is we're doing it all live so we'll right, get right. to know right then and there live we'll see exactly what people think which I'm very excited about it's kind of a new and different thing that hasn't really been done before right. like a live premiere where you watch it with the world and do a QA and a with me and Selena Gomez see us reunite after all that time um, that'll be really cool because I think this could be the first of many of these types of things. It's, especially you're like in the, starting the trend because it's going to happen. Like that's life now, you know? A hundred percent, a hundred percent. And it's cool as a filmmaker to usually you'd only go to a premiere and experience it with your friends. You know, right. you have your, your family, your friends, the people that worked on the movie. Those are the only people that go to a premiere. That's it. It's very select, very niche. So now to actually get to do it with all of your fans that's going to be a very cool experience for me to, to, to get to experience that 
also with Selena Gomez, who's our executive producer. We're excited to do all that together. Yeah. And are you going to be, you're going to be separate. Do you think you'll be talking to each other like through zoom and stuff? Or are you going to be together? Yes. Yeah. It's all going to be one big zoom. And then we'll have, I think we're doing it on Twitter. We'll get to do all the Q and A's and see what everyone's saying on Twitter. But yeah, we'll, we'll do it all through zoom and, and you can just, anyone, who, anyone can join literally anybody. They just go to this is the year dot film buy a ticket that gets you in and you also contribute to COVID-19 plus one COVID-19 relief. That's literally so sick though, that you're going to be watching it like as the world does and hear it in real time. It, it, it's cool. I think it's going to be something that catches on because people have movies sitting on the shelf right now that they can't get out the door. So this right. is a new way of doing it, I think, and a new experience for filmmakers and also something that you can use for charity too, like we are with the uh, COVID relief. Yeah. There's no better people to start the trend too than you guys because you, you like you hey, get it. you get you're on you're getting on TikTok like you you got it on lock. <laughs> I'm TikToking away. I'm I'm TikToking like crazy right now. <laughs> we saw you with a Josh and Noah. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Those yeah. guys are funny. They they made my TikTok like like I I didn't know what it was like literally until they got there and then was like yeah let's <laughs> just do a TikTok and then next thing you know I'm getting like 10 million views on videos and I'm like wait what? What? what are you there? I, I I was not there. I should have been there. <laughs> um, <laughs> you could have got you would have blown up on TikTok too. <laughs> I, I'm still learning how to use TikTok. I, I'm I'm I, yep. Instagram is like my I love all of them, but I'm I'm learning how to use TikTok. <laughs> you'll get there. You'll get there. Yes. And then we're gonna play the brother tag if you guys are down. Let's yeah. do it. Love it. Okay, ready? Which brother is most likely to watch the movie more? Uh, me because i directed it so yeah. i watch it a million times and i yeah. have watched it a million times the actors don't really like watching themselves so i think after this friday i'll have to space it out a little bit yep. <laughs> uh which brother texts the other one more um, we're pretty even we're pretty 50 50 yeah we see each other a lot so we we, we really don't yeah we don't live far from one another yeah. so we see each other all the time uh which brother's funnier definitely me <laughs> Definitely me. <laughs> I had a feeling it was going to be a tie for that one. <laughs> Which one takes more pictures? Me. Uh, I take a lot of pictures. Yeah, David. How is the other brother saved in your phone? Oh, I misspelled Lorenzo's name like years ago. So he has two O's at the end of his name. It's L-O-R-E-N-Z-O-O. -O. So whenever I tell my phone to call him, I say, call Lorenzo. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm just a normal person and I, I, I put people as their real names. So yeah. it's just David Henry. <laughs> but you have the last name. Yes. Yeah. I sh yeah. I have the last name just in case yeah. I forget. Yeah. You're Lorenzo. Yeah, your brother's last name. Yeah. <laughs> Which brother is most likely to be late to set? <laughs> Were you late um, to set a lot? I'm never late. I'm never, no, no, ever no, late. No, 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 no. I'm, I'm on time. No, Lorenzo was never late either. Maybe a minute or two, but never really late. No. You know, if transpo's off, that's not my right. fault. <laughs> that's that's everyone else's fault but yours, yeah. Can't, can't do anything about transportation. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Which brother eats more on set? Definitely Oof, me. Me. <laughs> <laughs> Equal. That we'll, we'll call that a tie. There you go. Which brother goes to the other brother for it, more advice? Probably me. Well, uh, Lorenzo gives me a lot of unsolicited advice. <laughs> so I don't know. It might be even. Yeah, I'd go for more advice. <laughs> yeah. Uh, which brother spends more money? Davey. <laughs> <laughs> Mostly on food. <laughs> right. And then which brother will uh, be tweeting more during the live Q&A? It'll be probably pretty even. Um, yeah. It'll be even. Maybe me, because you might be talking more than everyone. Or yeah, I don't know. It'll be, it'll be even. It'll be even for sure. Yeah, 50-50. Yeah. We just wanted to plug that there would be a Q&A. <laughs> oh, I love it. Thank you. There will be. <laughs> got you, got you always. But thank you guys so much. We're so excited for the premiere, the live premiere, and check to check it out. You guys are the best at Young Hollywood. I've been doing interviews with you guys since for over a decade now, probably. So <laughs> it's, been a, it's been a while. <laughs> it's been a minute. So it's always great to see you and Young Hollywood again.